Okay, I'm down here at the Brent Farm. I was down here earlier today and some of the jobs had finished printing and there were still four that were continuing to print and I had to leave and while I was gone we had some severe thunderstorms. We had a power outage that lasted several hours. We'll take a look now and I'll show you what happened. Uh, these had finished okay. This job was printing and as you can see we're kind of stuck to this part but these did not quite finish printing. Just had a little bit left probably another 15-20 minutes maybe 30 minutes at the most and I could have finished but I've lost all of these parts now and that was one of the reasons that I've mentioned, especially on these A8 Pluses that take several hours to print and use a lot of filament. It would be nice to have that battery backup capability on these printers so that in the event something like this happens that they could possibly continue to run for at least some period of time. However, even a battery backup system is not going to last too long. So this, when we have the power out for several hours, we're probably going to lose the job anyway. And then over here, we had a couple of printers down here that were still running. And even though these printers have resume print, resume print isn't worth anything in most cases if the power failure is for longer than a few minutes. Because what happens when it's off for several hours, that glass bed cools down and the parts release. And then when it does try to resume print, the head's just going to knock the parts loose and you've lost the job anyway. So that's what happened on those. But on these other ones up here, things worked out pretty well. These parts printed pretty good. And... Again, these are the horizontal housings for the filament holder for the King Room printers. And then we also had some parts over here that printed all right. And of course, they're ready to be taken off. This one, this one's adhering pretty well. This is one of our tool holders for the helping hand, standalone tool holder. And then our parts here turned out pretty good. And then these also, these are adhering, that one's loose, that one's loose. This one's adhering a little better. But if I can pull this out and flex it just a little bit, then it'll pop right loose and these are also parts for the fume extractor just flex that a little bit and they pop loose they came out okay and these parts over here came out okay uh, that we were printing and spool holders yeah those are all loose those are all loose they came out pretty good. So we did pretty good on the printing of those. And of course our lap diners over here came out okay. These parts are fine. I didn't restart anything and I'm still not going to restart any of these printers because we have another little band coming through a little bit later this evening that looks like it's going to be severe. And it's just not worth it because too many things happen when we have these power failures and it costs too much filament and time. So all I lost was just four print jobs and I can live with that. Another thing I wanted to mention, I was did a video that I posted just a while ago from this past weekend when I was down here doing the 
cleanup and everything. And I noticed the video was fairly choppy. And the reason for that is I believe the stabilization on this camera has been turned off. So until the next time, happy printing from New Tech Inventors.